Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Anguity, and today I got a new video for you guys. And basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna test out a, this AccuArt website that's provided by Axiantix for free, which provides a web vulnerability scanner again for free for all users to actually test out uh, cross site scripting, SQL injections, and cross site request forgery. All right, let's get to it. So all I really need you to do is just go to your Kali Linux, open up a new terminal, have this website on the side, and just in your Kali terminal, go into root mode, Kali. All right, so first of all, let's test out actually if the website is vulnerable or not. So to actually do that, we can just, so when you first go to the website, it's gonna be like this. All right. And then if you go to list products, for example, which is products.php, and what this URL basically does is we're basically forcing a GET request to MySQL to find out if there is any errors in the MySQL database between the PHP application and the MySQL. So if there is an error, Basically, it indicates if there is a possibility that there is an SQL injection that can happen here. So if we press enter, we're going to find out that warning. My SQL fetch array expects parameter 1 to be resource. So that means that there is a possibility for SQL injection. So let's keep this to the side right now. Do SQL map. And then you can do uh, hyphen u or double hyphen URL. That is basically what the parameter means. You can also go to help or uh, hyphen h to check out all the options of the SQL map, all right? Which is probably the best thing you can do before actually running any commands. All right, so let's clear this. Let's get to it, all right? Let's check out, first of all, what the, the database itself is. All right, so HTTP test PHP dot VLN web dot com list products dot PHP and then let's uh, do the query for now actually to be artist. And let's give that an asterisk and or actually one and then double hyphen DBS. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. So not end map. It's uh, SQL map. So yeah, here it is. So basically, it's giving us back that the backend database is my SQL. It's running on a PHP 5 Nginx, and it's basically probably a uh, like a WAMP server. Oh, but that's not all the information that's showing. But again, it's also showing that there are two databases, which is AccuArt and Information Schema. So we can just keep that like in another note, all right, or something. But let's just get this one for now. All right, so AccuArt. This is the database name probably. So if you want to check out what database you're currently on when you do that command, all right, let me just clear everything. Do the same command, but not DBS, current, and then DB. That is going to show you basically the current database you're on. So saying over here that the current database we're on is AccuArt. So that is pretty cool. All right, let's continue. So since that we find out that there is a probably a big possibility right now that there is an SQL injection, let's get more information on the uh, database. So we already got the database type and the database name that we're actually on. I'm also going to show you an extra command, right? So let me just copy this and I'm going to explain what this does. All right, so this has a lot of options and just a moment where it is here it is all right so the link and then basically we're telling sql map to bring us back all the information and level six of verbose what does 
that mean? That means basically an SQL map, like the highest level of verbose that we could see. We don't really, really need to run this command, but I just want to show you what uh, it does. All right. So it's not verbose, by the way. It's just slash. It's hyphen uh, v and then six. Press y. And this is gonna take a lot of long, long time. So you don't really need this. But again, if you like, you're in a situation when you actually need to get all the information and you want to see how SQL Map is running, this is what you can use. So basically, it's just showing you that the SQL Map is running tests. It's giving like 50 requests right now. Like so, it's basically just doing what we did. Uh, but it's just so much faster than us. Of course, it's already made like 90 requests and it's of course more accurate and It's just showing basically what SQL map is doing on the back end. All right, so this is pretty awesome Let's actually get the current user and the password. All right, let's uh, do that So sudo I Cali clear SQL map, all right, the same URL, same everything. The query is gonna be artist equals one. Um, right now we wanna get the current user and then let's check out if we can get some password as well. No such option current user. So actually uh, it's not like this, it's like this. Yeah, here it is. All right, let's check out uh, what information it brought us back. All right. Uh, uh, uh. All right. So as you can see right now, it's unable to retrieve the number of password hashes for user AccuArt, unable to retrieve the password hashes for the database users. So uh, actually, this is going to be uh, explained more in the next video, so how you can get uh, like the passwords and how you can crack them and so on but for now let me just show you what you can actually get from the database itself all right so let's first of all ask it to show us the tables so show us what tables there's on the database so here it is it just brought us back all the tables on that are on the database so that's all the tables that are on the database so this is for the information scheme, but for the AccuArt one, it shows that there's eight tables, artists, carts, cat, uh, featured, guest book, pictures, products, and users. Uh, show us also the columns. So it can show us also the columns for each table. So for the table artist, it has three columns, for the table which is the one that we're gonna actually try to uh, exploit all right so first thing first all right so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna try to dump uh, just some information in the database itself and basically just trying to manipulate the database all right so SQL and then the link artist is equal one and then the option for dumping we already know that the database name is AccuArt the big slash uh, the hyphen big uh, T stands for table name so that's gonna be users uh, actually we don't have uh, uh, users we're not going to use users but actually we do have users over here but that's on another table so if you just go up you're going to find that so yeah so we can just use the users table and then column name and then dump and basically that worked so we just basically like uh, dumped in some uh, basic like union queries so that's just like some basic 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 data all right so if you want to check out what happened you can just go over here 
So if you just copy this, that is a directory by the way. So CD and then the directory that it gives you. Press LSLA, which stands for just listing all directories. Um, also then press cat and then the log. So as you can see right now, it's giving us uh, all the log information uh, that we did. It's giving us the payload that was uh, used at the end. It's giving us the table names, the columns. It's giving us basically everything we needed today. All right, so that is basically how you can do an SQL injection. So uh, I'll see you guys actually in the next video where we're gonna be cracking passwords of the database over here that we have. We're gonna crack those passwords basically. And so I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Andrew to you and peace you guys.